Will laptops make you sterile? Somebody on that other channel that a lot of you watched did a video about busting computer myths. And one of the myths that they busted was the fact that laptops on your lap can make you sterile. Now, take it from somebody who has balls and knows how a scrotum works, that they, in fact, can make you sterile. The laptop, that is. <clears throat> the entire purpose of the scrotum, as pictured next to me, is to keep your balls cold. Because if your cold balls are hanging out and getting warm, it causes all of the sperm that are inside them to start to die. For whatever evolutionary reason, sperm start to die when they reach body temperature. So your scrotum exists solely to keep your sperm colder by about 5 degrees than your body temperature. When you sit in a hot tub, a hot bath, or run with a laptop on your lap for hours, you raise the temperature of your scrotum, therefore killing the sperm that are inside it. As a result, you are temporarily sterile, or certainly reduce your living sperm count. So, in fact, a laptop can make you sterile if it's sitting directly on your lap, heating up your lap, heating up your scrotum, and killing off your sperm. This is generally not a permanent condition, and it can actually be somewhat good long-term. Uh, increased circulation can increase the amount of ejaculate that you're creating and therefore be beneficial for your health, but you have to be working with a doctor who has prescribed a hot cold regimen for trying to increase your fertility generally when you're trying to get someone pregnant as opposed to just, hey, I'm hanging out and boy, I wished I had a better sperm count because that's not how I measure my manliness, but if you do, good for you. But generally don't take health advice from somebody who's not a certified sex ed instructor, a doctor, or has at least Googled the subject to figure out whether or not there is some truth to it as opposed to just talking out their ass. Because scrotums and asses are very close to each other, but you shouldn't talk out of either of them or with either of them in your mouth.